welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. We are over here at our little mall area, and that is because we need to build some stuff. We need to build these guys, orbital collectors. Now, in the last one, I was talking about being very low at, on power. We were very low on power. So I set up as many solar panels as I could, uh, starting an extra line. I got about halfway around the planet, maybe. Uh, I also, if I can find our wind turbines, here they are. I doubled up on our uh, hydrogen fuel rods and then set up a lot more of these guys to generate power for us. And that meant that we now have enough power also because the science guys are not doing as much anymore. So that meant that... Where are they? Where the heck are they? These guys, they could start working. But not right now, apparently. Because they are not working right now. But we do have 155 of these uh, full accumulators in storage. Which is kind of nice. Oh, and here we go again. They're working. Look at that. Isn't it cool? It looks so cool. It looks so cool. So yeah, uh, those are working now. Which means that we can make these guys because they need full accumulators. So they also need the engines, the super magnetic rings and the interstellar logistics stations. So I was thinking what if we set up a production line here? Uh, let's do it right there. And we just need two of them because they take the same amount of time as the interstellar logistics stations to, to make. And I want to have at least uh, a decent supply of those. So we're going to take out from here uh, interstellar logistics stations. Dang it. All right, you know what? Uh, we're just going to come out to here and then we're going to delete you and give you the recipe and copy you and stick you in there instead. Okay, so there. Then we need the accumulators. I was thinking of requesting them over here. We also need super magnetic rings, which we have right here. So what we can do is actually just come out here. Uh, super magnetic ring and just come up and over. No need to request them again. So, whoops, not like that. Come up here. That's fine. Then we need these motors that we have over here. Reinforced thrusters. So those can come out here. And come over like this and up like that.
And then I think I will use this one. Let's see, uh, accumulator, local demand, 200 of them, uh, remote storage. Uh, let's give you some of those. And let's give you some of those. I think I need to go fix that somehow. Okay. Like that. And then we need a return line where we get them back in there. And that will be orbital collectors, and we definitely don't want more than a hundred of those. Uh, local storage, remote supply. Okay, let's just see at the accumulators. Where is it? I can't find the damn thing on this planet. Uh, here it is. So, local supply. All right. So they are coming in. Then we will uh, insert here and here and get them out there and there. We will Insert here, here, and here. And we will delete you. And you, because that's too expensive to have on there. Okay, and then we can just, let's just, first of all, do that, and then grab some more belts. Good. Do we have anything on us that we don't want? Yes, we do. Good. Okay. So we have everything here. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Glowy. And power. Just stick one in there. And I think we need to request some more of these electromagnetic rings. Let's turn that up to 500. I also think we need to make a heck of a lot more of them. We're out and we are not getting any. Uh, 50. Woo! 50! And again, those guys we probably need more of as well. But uh, we have our first two of these orbital collector guys. So I think we'll give that a little bit of time to build up. So that we don't fly to the gas giant with stinking two orbital collectors. I don't think that's worth it. Wow, we're getting five. Five. Fifty-five. None of those. Fifty now. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Well, where are we making those rings? We're making them there. We're certainly not making enough because of the electromagnetic motors and the electromagnetic motors, which we are making somewhere. Somewhere. 
Where are we making those? Here? We're definitely not making enough of those either. We need to scale this up immensely. But these are all things that we could make all over on the lava planet. Because if we take a look at the lava planet, it's just... We have tons of iron, of iron and copper here. So if we made that over there, I think that would be a good option. And we have a lot of space over there to make them. So yeah, I think that's a really good option. I do love that we have the activity going here. Now, another thing that we unlocked that I completely forgot to look at is that we can now see stuff from afar. So up to six light years away. So we have a K-type star, uh, K-type star, an M-type star, an M-type star, a G-type star. That's too far away. Let's take a look at this star. So coal, stone, titanium, silicon, copper, iron. Not too exciting. All stuff that we already have. Let's try and look at this K-type star. This has water and fire ice as well, but again, all stuff that we already have. Uh, M-type star, three light years away. This has kimberlite ore and sulfuric acid for an ocean. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Did we look at 27 Dorados? No, we did not. That has fractal silicon and optical grading crystal. And water ocean, okay. Theta Aquilae, we already looked at. Uh, Algami, we can't see. 14, 3, 7, 3, 7, 5. G type star, answer. Fire, ice, and sulfuric acid ocean and water ocean. But I think when we go, we want to go over to 27 Doradus with fractal silicon and optical, optical grading crystal as well as fire ice and water. But I would also like the uh, sulfuric acid ocean and the kimberlite ore. So we might have to go to two places. We might have to go to two places. Very cool, very cool. Uh, so how many of these guys do we have now? Four. <laughs> Four. All right. Um, there's 50 of each of those on the way. Here comes something. Oh, here they come. Some of them, anyway. Uh, not enough to produce in any of them. All right. These super magnetic rings. What do they take? I can't remember. They take those guys. The um, electromagnetic turbines. So I think, and the electric magnetic turbines take those. So I think we are gonna head over to the lava planet and set up. A production line of that stuff 
We have plenty of smelters. We have some assembling machines. Not enough, though. Um, what are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Um, okay. We don't have enough assemblers. But other than that, I think we're good. Uh, so let's grab some assemblers. Where is it they are? They're in here. Uh, let's just grab all of them. And then maybe a few sorters. Something like that. And some belts. I think that'll do. And we could really do with some power as well. Let's just delete that. And delete that. I don't think we need those for anything. Uh, let's delete the graphene as well. Right, that probably fine. Uh, let's grab some. Hydrogen fuel rods. Uh, something like that. And let's take off. Okay, where are the other planets? Uh, I need space navigation. So there they are. And there is our target. So let's get over there. Okay. And we are already here. That was quick. Let's turn on veins real quick. So we have a couple of copper veins right here. That could be interesting. Now we're already we're already doing copper, aren't we? Over here. We have iron there and we have copper over here. So we might actually not need to do copper. But we do need to do iron ore. We just need to mine it and stick it in a tower. So let's start by doing that. Uh, let's build the tower there. Let's mine as much of this as we can. that and 
and let's just run you out here, down here, and in. Okay. Just need to hook up the rest. And power them up. It'll be fine. Alright, so that is going in here. What am I doing? I want components, iron ore, uh, local supply, and remote supply. And I want you to have power as well. Charging up. How much power do we actually have here? We're demanding a lot more right now because this is charging up. Once it's charged up, I think it'll be fine. Okay. So that's a bit of iron ore. Because we want to make magnets as well. Basically want to make everything here. Now, what does it take to make... You guys. That takes high priority silicon. We do have a silicon mine here. Uh, I am tempted to double up on this. I think I might. Hmm. Hmm. So what we really want to make over here is these guys. Which means we need you, which is magnets and copper plate. So let's find a spot where we can do that. This is not a bad spot. So, transportation. Let's put you in right there. And we need to set up a bunch of smelters for the magnets. They just need. So, if we bring iron ore out there, and bring it down, something like that. Then we can stick in smelters, right, right here. Let's just do magnets, copy, paste, paste, and we'll do 15 on each side. Uh, they do only take one second to make, right? One and a half second. So one on each side. Is at, or 15 on each side is actually not enough. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
So that'll be 34. We actually need it to be 45, don't we? We actually need it to be 45. So 18, 19. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Man, these rocks are annoying. Thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 will do. Okay. So then we just need to bring it out. And that can actually happen on one line. So let's just do this. And then bring it in there. So that's magnets. Okay, I'll quickly stick in some sorters and then I'll be back. Alrighty, we are back and we are low on power again because this guy is charging up. We will stick some of you in there. Stick some of you in there. And we will say local demand. And remote storage. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, hey, here comes some iron. And we're starting to move. I actually forgot to check. Oh, that's one to one, good, good. All right, so we're producing those. Okay. I am actually considering doubling up on this. I am actually considering doubling up on this. I think I just might. But it does mean that we need much more power. We're spending 109 megawatts right now. And the production is not great. But we are charging you up. Market. Not a big problem. Right now, anyway. Not right now, anyway. Hmm. How is it looking? It's looking decent. We are getting a good amount. And of course, it's being hampered by the power situation. But having these means that we can use some of our copper 
to make electromagnetic rings. Is that what they call them? magnetic coils? And that means that we can make these guys once we get gears set up. And that means that we can make these guys. We actually don't. Yeah, we need magnetic coils for both of these. So yeah, definitely double up, double up on the magnets and the magnetic coils. No doubt. So yeah, I think in between episodes I will set up another magnet production and a, I think an extra uh, iron plate production and probably the magnets. I might set up the whole damn production line over here just because I mean you've seen it before right uh, you've seen it before and then I'll show you what it looks like when we come back that does mean that we need another power but we could actually let's see can we do that that would actually be pretty cool let's try it here and oh, there are those 14 iron rings that's fine. Um, so let's try something. We will do uh, one of you. Mm, let's do you there. And then we'll do five of you. Four, five. All right. Now you need uh, full accumulators, and you need to get powered up. Like that, and you need some of these guys. Okay, so then you need those as well. Uh, local storage, remote supply, that's fine. And then we can pull out, I think, the full ones. Um, we need you guys. Let's just get them set up like that. And then you can come in there. And then the empty ones. out here and come in there and we'll just stick this in okay and you're having a hard time time charging but so then we'll do uh, remote demand, get some of these going over here, and I think let's say that it's okay that the missiles are 50% loaded. And then we can say discharge here. So 
So that'll give us power. Hopefully. Do we see... Do we see some logistics vessels. Good, good. Ooh, they look different when they're discharging. That is pretty damn neat. Look, if we set this to charge instead, then they, it opens the other way. That is pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. Alright, we have 1,200 of these on the way. I don't think we need that many. Let's just say 1,000. And also just store up a thousand or something. Let's just see when these arrive. I want to see what it looks like. Where are they? Accumulator full. We have a ship on its way there. Come on. We have a few. They're almost here. Let's see what this looks like. Here they come. Here they come. And these stars start discharging. Wow, they discharge fast. But it does mean that our general power supply is 100%. So that is pretty sweet. And we have these storing up and then they'll be sent back to be charged up again. That is cool. That is very, very cool. So if you have a planet with tons and tons and tons of power, then you can quickly charge up some batteries, send them over to another planet that is lacking in power, and feed it power that way. That is a very, very nice idea. That is a very, very nice idea. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. And you are charging up quite quick. So that that's a neat feature. That is a neat feature. Just see, do we need to fill up here? Yeah, we do a little bit. All right. So in between episodes, I will get. Uh, our production lines over here set up I think and um, then I'll show you what I've done in the next one so thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time